Hey guys, this is your boy Rusin, and today I'm gonna be taking you all on a journey. But for that, we're gonna have to pierce the veil and look under the curtain. So let's all come with me on that different journey to the upside down. Oh, what the hell? Hey, just roll credits. So hey guys, there's a lot that we don't know that is going under the curtain. And it has to do with a lot of stuff that is being developed in the game. But every now and then a player may encounter some place that is supposed to be hidden to all the other players. And they're able to pierce through that veil. And lucky me, I had the chance to be contacted by that player, a named player. So I have the chance to bring to you guys some of the stuff that is being worked out under the curtain from all the players and everything. And it's something that us players have been asking, so I think people are gonna be very excited. And as a half joke, this could get me in trouble, but, it, well, let's take a look. So yeah, guys, believe it or not, I had been contacted by a player not that long ago, uh, actually last week. And he decided to actually show me a place that he came to find out. Now, understand this, uh, he did not want to get in too much detail how he came upon this. Supposedly he just walked into this place. Um, I was teleported to the place, what means I cannot tell you guys how to actually get there. So yeah, believe it or not, as we can see, uh, Underground ROTA is being worked on right now. Now, as I'm showing you guys, all the creatures in there still have the interrogation marks for names. So it's stuff they're still testing right now. I tried unsuccessfully to actually attack the creatures. Um, so by what I know is it is possible to actually do that with certain pet classes. So I was able, after trying really hard to send my pet out and he was actually attacked and killed. Um, so I know it is possible, it wasn't possible for me to actually get in the areas. Uh, as you guys can see, I could just go around the map um, in some of those parts. Now, the information I have by this other player that should not be named is that right now um, the loot table on this still unreleased dungeon uh, the only thing he saw were rupees so no other drops at all so i cannot tell you guys how good the drop is going to be if anything special going to come out of that now i probably see it as one of the best things for the level gap that usually we hit when we're at 170 to 175 mostly for classes that do not have area damage um, it becomes very hard to level it takes forever i i actually have major issues love um like templars for example but their area damage is not the best you can do great damage but you pretty much attack one on one what it means or ota is just horrible to go from 170 to 175 and it's something that a lot of people have been complaining that it takes forever. Um, the only way to really level if you're not a mercenary is to join a party and pay 250, 350 million to actually level until 175. So that should solve a lot of the problems. I'm really happy you're working on that. I can't wait to see the release. 
Uh, I'll just show you guys a little bit more um, of my walk around this area. Uh, like I said, I am hiding the person who actually showed me. It's not the case. Uh, but it's, I have to say thank you very much for actually bringing that to light, ha giving the opportunity to show all the other players this area. I know a lot of people are going to be excited. So the other thing that I know everybody have been waiting are the changes on Berserker. Um, I know those are changes that have been talking to me about, um, even there was a chance they were going to release about two weeks ago. So wasn't released this week. Hopefully in about two weeks, this is going to happen. Um, I know a lot of people have issues with Gaia classes because basically, you know, their tank class, their warrior, it's, it has a lot of issues. It can't really be used by many players. People really don't like them on parties. I mean, if you are a war kahuna, yeah, you join parties, but the other class kind of uh, a little bit dead in the water. So this change should be good. It's another class for people to actually get engaged with. Um, besides that, I am still, I didn't have a chance to fully work in all the pet classes. I want to do some tests. I want to, you know, hit with some people back and forth what they change are the best for those classes. Now, like I always tell you guys, I have no control of the change. I have nothing to do with the company in this sense. But the way I see things is that there's probably a chance to push a little bit of changes if that's a minor thing, maybe a couple of percentage here and there. I'm not saying that would ever happen, but I think if we know where the problem lies, it's easier for us to point people to the right direction. So I'm going to try to do this this weekend. I'm still finishing up the belt pet guide. Um, I'm sorry for the delay. I had a lot of things going on this week, so hopefully I can get everything pushed for next week release or maybe even the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that notifications bell. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys this week. Any questions, leave in the comments. I'll answer as best as I can and I'll be seeing you guys by the end of the week. Thank you very much and have a safe week out there. Take care and I'll see you in the game.